Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and looks like I've built another 7-inch drone, but this one, this one is for special things. On the average, once a year I have this crazy idea, maybe I could fly FPV in the night. Of course, flying in the night requires you, let's say, some special equipment, because you cannot really expect that the regular FPV antenna, like for example this, Foxy, or I don't even remember how it's called, uh, Arrow Micro will be able to, to work in the night when it is really there is very, very little light. Two years ago, I was testing this on my 6 inch quad with the infrared projectors in front. It was yeah, so so. Of course, I was using the Runcam Night Eagle camera. Last year I was playing on the 5 inches without any infrared projectors or any external lights and it was yeah, okay, okay, but still the middle of the night was not the best, best time to do it because there really was not enough light to even catch the the let's say the shadows and the depth of, of, of what's happening, happening around. So this year, this year I have built uh, this. Ta -da! It's a 7 incher because I'm mostly doing things with 7 inches now, so it's a 7 incher. Mainly it's from the parts I had somewhere lying around um, on my bench. So the only things I had to buy to get it is the frame, which is the uh, Alpha RC Fighter 7 inch, uh, which I showed you like a week ago. And I also had to get the... No, what else did I had to get? No, honestly, everything else I had somewhere on my bench. What goes where? The, the first time uh, I'm trying to install the GPS at the back of the quad, it's far enough from everything, uh, let's say 5 centimeters from the power cables and all the metals, so, so the magnetometer should be working just fine uh, in case of the GPS like this, without this big mast somewhere, because it's kind of like, like biggish. Uh, I also have for the first, no, for the second time in the in my 7 inch career, a 41 ESC. This is called, uh, this is something called Icon, 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 Icon 55 amps 4 in 1 ESC. The pretty nice build with the big ES, uh, big heat sinks on the MOSFET, so it, it, it looks, it looks that like something that should survive even, uh, even the hardest beating. Uh, there is a Matek uh, F722 STD, classical as the VTX, I have 1.2 watts AKK X2 Ultimate. The 1.2 watts, I will not be using this as 1.2 watts and probably only on the 600 milliwatts. Still, it will give me plenty. Uh, some race wires from the Atom, the motors I was also previously using on one of my 7 inches. They are the Race Stars BR2509, no, OA, BR2508S. 1275 kV. They are not the fastest, but this will not be like a powerful freestyler doing crazy stuff in the air. This is just something that's supposed to like fly in the night with help of extra extra things. Oh, and the antenna, 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 whatever. Uh, the antenna is from the R9 Mini. Yeah, R9 Mini. And now we come to the special equipment on board of this thing. Equipment number one, this thing. Uh, it's the Runcam Night Eagle, not the Night Eagle 2 or anything like that. Uh, I'm still waiting for the response of the uh, Runcam if they will send me or not the new generation of the Night Eagle. And I also try, I'm trying to contact the Foxir to send me uh, the new CAT night vision camera. So maybe we can also, if the companies will of course agree, we can have a night, nice uh, comparison of those, uh, of those night flying cameras. And now we come to the best part. You see, this, this is 3 watts of LED power facing forward. I got those, those are two reflectors, 
uh, reflectors. No, they are not reflectors because there is uh, no reflection mirror, so they are refractors. Those, <laughs> those are two refractors. Uh, they pull around 3 watts of um, power, electrical power directly from the main lipo and with this small driver, LED driver. You see this LED driver over here? Um, they made it so cheap that this is exactly the same electronic that goes into some of the uh, LEDs uh, you can put in your um, apartment. The 12 volt LEDs, reflectors, reflectors, reflectors. This is exactly the same electronic, only they strip this slightly. And so, but come on, it's like it was really super, super cheap. I intended to put it somewhere flying like two, three years ago when I got it, but never really did. So, this is finally the first time those two refractors LED lights are installed. But this is the thing number one. And the thing number one is this. You see, there are four LEDs on rear arms. Uh, on the top side and eight LEDs on the bottom side and the button over here. And depending on the publication schedule, the video about this device is already published or not. Uh, if this is published, yes, this is my the LED driver for the WS28-2012 LED modules, programmable LED modules. If not, this is something that you will be able to see on this channel soon. And now let's connect power and you will see what's happening. Ta da! You see? I have a nice visualization that something is happening. In the air, it looks like UFO. And those two refractors, LED lights, should give me enough light to be able to fly during the night because the camera oh, because the camera over there is really amazing. The Roncon 9 e Night Eagle, it's black and white only, but really you can fly it in the middle of the night. Cool. What? How cool is that? Well, the answer is, of course, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Oh yeah, yellowish lights. So, this is the plan. This is the plan. If everything goes well, uh, then, of course, there will be some extra materials on this topic. Uh, hopefully, the Runcam and the Foxir will uh, send me their night vision cameras. That will mean I will also record more materials on the FPV in the night. And probably this will be also a place when I will finally try to put my QMU beacon to use, because if I will lose it somewhere during the flight, then the chance of getting this back will be rather slim pickings. Well, now it's at so much, so much light. So uh, there will be a uh, recovery beacon probably installed over here to be able to find it when it crashes okay um that's all for today thank you for watching please thumbs up please subscribe you know the drill and uh, see you soon with hopefully some night vision footage from this thing and hopefully some comparison of the night vision cameras too okay that's all for today until the next one bye bye